on Family Empire. Hello, Auntie. It's a lot of us that make up this Brayton family. We are four generations. Everybody in Houston knows the Brayton name. We grew up as sister cousins. And we work together. One of the most prestigious black-owned real estate companies in Texas. Nikki, <laughs> stop it. Maybe we need to do a contract so we there's no. I, uh, that's the one thing we all on the same page about. Yeah. Brandon, can you tell us about your land? You still want to sell it, or have you decided to give it to us yet? I got to think of my children. I think it's very clear that with Lakeisha and I being half-sisters, growing up in different households, there's some sensitivity to our relationship. It's no wall here. No. Y'all got this wall over well, here. Wait, what? <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Nicole. Thanks for the crawfish. You're welcome. Don't take this microphone off me. We're the Bradens. We're three sister cousins following in our granny's footsteps, creating generational wealth to expand our legacy and build our family empire. Good morning. How are you? Good and good. I'm Sleepy. Okay. These 4 a.m. appointments be killing me. My life is crazy. From 8 a.m. to about 8 p.m., my day gets hectic. So at 4 a.m., it's Nicole's time to do whatever she needs to do to make her day go smooth. I knew you were coming, so I didn't even worry about sleeping with a bonnet or a scarf or anything. On That's okay. Morning. I mean, you still look great, girl. Like Beyonce say, I woke up like this. Kendra is my hairstylist, but she's also a really good family friend. You know, I'll say our family, we do a really great job at working together. But on the flip side, they get comfortable, <laughs> right? What time does cousin get home? He'll be here. Normally he's here by five, like on the dot, but lately he's been rolling in the door like around 5.45, 6 o'clock. Oh, so they probably do let yeah. them go a little bit later. They may have a, a heavier workload. You got any plans for the weekend? To make it to the weekend. I feel you on that. Ooh, girl, these beach waves are waving me. <laughs> OK, it's giving wavy. Kendra can be a little extra in the mornings, OK? Shoot, next time, you know, you want to cook me some breakfast? Because I'll be struggling. You know, when I wake up in the morning, I'm always just trying to, you know, get in a good mind space, get prepared for my day. No. No, I do that. <laughs> well, I always have to just, like, reel her back in. <laughs> I just let myself out. Being a boss in Houston, especially if you're a woman, right? Real estate is a male-dominated industry. It takes organization. It takes a lot of discipline. Hey, good morning, Shanae. Good morning, Nicole. How you doing? I'm well. How are you? Good. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We have pretty much a full day today. Let's go through the list of active clients. After showing Solange the house, I met with the listing agent and presented an offer. I know y'all are asking 1.4. Where Solange is right now, she is all in for the house at 1.3 and $100,000 cash for the furniture. Can you follow up with Ebony about the price? Okay. Yeah. I love Sinead. She is another me. And it is a breath of fresh air that she's not a family member. There are certain boundaries professionally that we do not cross. Hey, baby. What's up, baby? Give me a sec, I'm gonna wrap up with Shanae. All right, I'll be in the kitchen. Right now, Larry's on a night project. Literally, most of the time, when I'm getting up, he's just coming home for the day. And then when I get home, he's already gone to work for the evening. How was your night? <sighs> Long. Y'all be killing me with that. What? Work. I know, I only got about two more weeks, and I'll be back to my schedule Thank where goodness. I can chill. Thank goodness, we can have you back home. I know, right? I'm sorry, I, I would have made you some breakfast had Kendra not been here. Uh, Had I not been getting my hair done? I don't know how you get your hair done at 4 in the morning. That's the only time I actually have to get it done. Well, that's a good way to start. At least you get the pumping for them. Hmm. Layton get up. Because when she gets up, it is all about Layton. Marriage, in my opinion, is work, right? And it's very trying, right? I think one of the biggest things that Larry and I had issues with is communication. With the way that our schedules work, especially his schedule, that did take a toll on us, you know? We would go days without talking. We really kind of started like bickering and, you know, going to sleep mad type stuff, but uh... I did cause some tension in our marriage. 
I've been holding on to a lot of things like internally, like grudges I've had towards you from things that you've done in the past. I'm too old to start over now. I've been out of the game. Oh too no, long. I'm not too old to start over. I mean, I think I'm a good kid. There are some things we had to overcome as as a couple. I mean, I, I say that we're a work in progress. Okay, we're a work in progress. How was your day? My night was short. We had a crawfish boil at Quita House, and honestly, it did not go well. It was Quita, Misha, and Keisha. And so I got there last, but based off the conversation when I got there, Keisha wants a closer relationship with me. Quita made a joke. Quita was like, y'all have the wall. And I'm like, huh? She said that? Yeah, she was like, she was like, yeah, y'all have the wall. <laughs> it's no wall here, yeah, okay? Y'all have the wall. <laughs> you know how sensitive the topic is for all of us. Yeah. And I feel like Quita and Misha grew up with us as well, so they know how sensitive the topic is too. So for her to make a joke about it, I really didn't appreciate it. And more so, it really just hurt my feelings. I, I can't believe actually Quita even did that. Larry's definitely my confidant. So finding these alone moments has been tough. So what is the whole solution for y'all? Like Keisha and I need to talk one-on-one -on -one without anybody else. No distractions, you know, no, no audience. All right. I appreciate it. Sometimes I feel like I don't have nobody to talk to but you. Mm. You have a lot of functions this weekend? I had up to two eight beds. I got to open it up with that 10 o'clock. At 10, okay. Hey, Mama. Hey, hey how hey. you doing, honey? Hey. Hey. How y'all doing today? All right, trying to set up for this weekend. Oh, look. Mm -hmm. How the so, kids? Granny put all these tables out? Yes, she did. The kids doing good. All your uh, all your grandkids. I appreciate your help so much. That's that's what I love about you, Mom and Grandma, that y'all always found ways to help your your grandkids and and your daughter out. Well, I, I know I wouldn't have been able to make it if it hadn't have been for mom. I was I was working at the post office. We just so proud of uh, you and Papa when y'all came up just to create everything that y'all have created. Girl, mama yeah. used to see for sale signs and pull them out the yard. <laughs> So, no, so, so nobody else, so nobody okay. else could see him to call about the property. Can you believe that? Yeah. So you would go to the city and buy the property once you. Well, I just outbid it. You just outbid it. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, I need a little Oscar Reen in me, okay? Granny has the hustle mentality, and that's what you need to run a successful business. Me and Nikki and uh, Quita came down here uh, earlier in the week. And uh, we went over to the uh, to the lot. I didn't know it was that deep, Granny. Oh, yes, yeah, deep. And, and I know you got to sell stuff, Granny. You she know. always say, oh, I got to give it to my five kids. Then they can give it to their children. And then they children. can give it to y'all. You know, those are so famous words. So do you words. really want to give that money to them five kids that bad? Yeah. But if you can see that money working for something else, because we talking about hundreds of thousand dollars right now, what we can convert and change this into is millions of dollars worth of real estate. Could you even imagine that, Granny, that that could be a possibility when you bought this property, that it could be a million dollars worth of property here? Yeah, uh-uh, it's high. Being in real estate and knowing the, you know, the black experience, so many people and so many of our ancestors have had their land taken away from them. And to see that our family still has land, it, it means so much. I mean, coming from, you know, Papa always telling us his stories about working in the cotton fields in Louisiana and uh, yeah, people and not paying him a sharecropping yeah. and they not paying him fairly. Most blacks had to purchase real estate with cash, not because they wanted to, because they didn't have access to lending. Those were huge issues that were impacting our community. So to know that they were able to amass all of this property with a high school education on the heels of their own hard work, that's the page in their playbook of life that I want to take as well. You left all this stuff for us, and I think this is exactly what we need to take y'all legacy to the next level because I wouldn't feel right knowing that I didn't put the same work ethic that you and Papa put in to growing 
everything that y'all did. A thousand dollars property, converting it into a million dollar portfolio based on what y'all have started. This is how you build wealth through real estate, and you have showed it. But that's I, I, just, I, 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 You might just go on and hold on yeah, to it. I think, I think it sounds like music to, to my ears. <laughs> that's not a no, it's not a yes, but I can work with that. We're gonna make this happen. Thanks, Granny. Uh-oh, thank you, Granny. Well, Mom would away. not give it away. I, I, I'm selling, not giving. Well, we know you selling and not giving, Granny. Uh, okay. We uh, did discuss a discount, correct? She gonna give y'all a family discount. No, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mama's strictly business. <laughs> Coming up on Family Empire. I guess I want to figure out, like, between me and her, like, what was those factors that disconnected us? Maybe I haven't created a safe space for you to feel comfortable talking to me, but I don't have a safe space to come talk to you either. Mom and dad legacy should be passed on to the five children, on to, to their, their children. children. That's the normal order of life, and they kind of interrupted that little cycle. Ooh! Mm -mm. The G1s, they feel like mom does not want to sell the two acres. Place our order. Okay. Um, I'm doing the little J. Okay, what about you, man? Can I get the food and leek and some green beans? All right, I got you. And the sweet tea for both of us. Is that gonna be all for y'all today? Yes, that's, that's right. gonna be it. Caramel is my partner girlfriend. We have been dating for two years. We met on Facebook. We talked for a little bit, and then I think I, I was like, "Can I pop up on you? You know, come to your house?" So she agreed, and then it was just on from there, I guess. Let's go have a seat. We can eat here. Yeah? That's my baby. <laughs> I ain't never had Buddha until I came to Texas, so. Mm hmm. Country, country, country. So, Nicole asked me to come to the house so we can have a little <laughs> girls' night out. So, is this ambush number two? No, I'm gonna try to talk before, to, you know, at mm -hmm. least the girls' night out. That would be good. Yeah. How do you want things to move forward between you guys? I don't want to go deep into the past, but I guess I want to figure out, like, growing up, like, why did, you know, like, between me and her, like, what was those factors that kind of disconnected us? When did you start first feeling the disconnect? When, when we got grown. I think I was, like, maybe, like, seven, eight when I even met my sisters. Seven or eight? Mm-hmm. That we actually was a little bit closer mm. when I was younger. I was introduced to my family through my aunts. Well, through my Aunt Jackie to be honest. I don't remember, like, that first meeting, but I was always, always like this happy-go-lucky kid. Like, I don't think stuff really bothered me. Like, my Aunt Jackie did welcome me in, so it was a positive situation. But I know as I got, became an adult, I felt like I wasn't as welcome as I should have been. So now here y'all are grown women. Here we are grown. Still sweeping stuff under the rug. Sweeping stuff under the rug, so. I don't so you gonna pick the rug up and dust it off? sweep it no more. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. I feel like maturing and I don't have to cry about it mm -hmm. anymore. I just want to figure out what happened, mm -hmm. how we can become a little bit closer because now is the time that I do need my family. Life is too short. I have experienced it when my mom passed away and it's just like, let's have these moments now like while we're here. Hopefully um, when we tie the knot, we'll have everybody there. All my sisters, all your sisters. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> 
It's, it's gonna come. I am in love with caramel. I have been looking for rings to like at least put a ring on her finger. I'm trying. <laughs> Shine so bright, never turn it off. You're looking at a real one, real one. Baby, I got time to brag, I'm a real one. And that's all facts, no cap. Hey, lady. What's up? What's what up? You got? What you got? What you need? What you need? We got a casino night, and they wanted all the tables down from the other side, mm -hmm. which I've already done. Thank you. And they only want 10 on this side. OK, I'm following your lead. OK, come on. I'm the baby of five. As soon as we turned 16, me and my siblings, we knew we had to go to work. We were there helping with our parents and their businesses, which we still do to this day. I still don't get paid, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. What's up, well, hello, ma'am. We saved some work for you. Oh, y'all put me to work today. My blood pressure. I'm going to bring my laptop over here, because I need to talk real estate with y'all. Everybody not retired, sure. I have a full-time job. I understand that. I can't I keep that. coming up here all the time. I moved all those tables. And I work at night. I'll take on the manual labor of moving chairs and you tables. Built, you built for that. No, no shade. I'm just saying. Shade? No, you built, you know. OK. Wait, 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 y'all. I was thinking, remember I brought this up to I mean, you want to go you, there? No. I want no, built no, for that. And Nikki's so little, you know. OK, so what I oh, have. Oh, you want to change the conversation now, huh? Mm-hmm. OK, but what I have up here now is all the properties. Mama wants to liquidate, and the G2s want to buy the largest lot, the two-acre lot, because this is the largest tax debt. So that's the one that makes sense to sell. The mama said and dad said when they sell the two acres that they were going to pay off all our mortgages because they wanted to see the. Right us get our inheritance while they were here. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all want your inheritance now? Mom and dad legacy should be passed on to the five children, then the five children pass it on to, to their, their children. children. That's but kind of the normal order of life, and they kind of interrupted that little cycle. Okay, the G1s are very traditional. They just old. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, they just have the the, you know, different opinions. Not um, the opinions that I may have. That, that is a challenge with me being, you know, I guess in the middle. How much would she sell it to them for what she wanted? That's a whole nother conversation. They want a discount. She, I'm not going for that either. <laughs> Ooh! Mm -mm. Fair market. Close to it. Ooh. Ooh. Wow, I'm for I giving them a discount. Yo, you know your mama don't give discounts, right? What, take a thousand dollars off? You know, the prices keep going up and up, and y'all know at the end of the day, it's about the dollar. Mom about the dollar, and mom about the business. Coming up on Family Empire. You know, even with us being 40 years old, we're still the children in the situation. I know. Our father, you know, he has a heart somewhere. He doesn't know how to express, express his himself. feelings. Don't make me cry. <laughs> Queen, Queen. Hey. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I got your cookies yesterday. I appreciate the gesture. Um, I told me she'd probably throw them in the trash. <laughs> I, I ate one before I threw them in the trash. <laughs> no. Keisha finna come over here. I know, and I'm glad y'all are getting together without us, because I think that's, that's what y'all need. I don't remember the last time Keisha and I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation. We have never been the closest, you know, just being very transparent. But I think it's time to talk about our relationship and, like, facing it head on. This is a moment I'm looking forward to, but it's also a moment that I'm a little nervous about. Oh, well, I apologize. And I received, yeah. I received that, and like I said, I ate one of your cookies before I threw them in the trash. What's up with your weight loss journey? I thought you were working on losing Girl, weight. I've been thinking about going uh, to get this colonic. <laughs> a colonic? If you really want to lose some weight, they say get the colonic. Uh, Peter, I'm hanging up. I'm getting off the phone. Hey! <laughs> hey. 
Okay, Cole. <laughs> How you doing? Know? I'm good. <laughs> Just walk right on in, huh? What are you my door? Why not? <laughs> what? I brought got some wine. Tonight I'm feeling excited, nervous, because I don't, you know, get to talk to Nicole about her feelings as much. I would like the walls come down. I mean, I do look up to her as my big sister. I know we're the same age, but I do look up to her as my big sister. The last time we were together, I felt like Quita made a joke of, you know, the wall. Mm -hmm. You know, so I just wanted to understand why is there a wall? I don't know how that wall got up. It used to didn't be there. It didn't. Maybe I haven't created a safe space for you to feel comfortable talking to me, mm -hmm. but I also feel like I don't have a safe space to come talk to you either. The most difficult part for me is like not knowing what can trigger you. I have had those triggers for just like being angry about where my place was. I think you still at times feel left out. Yeah, sometimes. You know, and even when we're not trying to leave you out. We did grow up differently. And I feel like, not saying like left out, maybe I should use a better word, but some of the situations that probably involved me, Nicole, she didn't have to deal with that either. You know what I mean? We were children. I think the outside clutter, people talking to Nicole, people talking to me, and we never just had a mesh of talking to each other. In all fairness to both of us, I feel like we are scared to come to each other. I don't want to continue to have these, like, burden. Like, honestly, I felt guilty because Why? I had a quote unquote grew up with a better life than you, you know, or whatever that looks like. You know what I'm saying? But don't don't think that. I had a lot of love in growing up. I'm cool with everybody. Like I don't I don't give people issues or like never you problems. never have no, right. You, so it's just you, like you never have. But I why guess that is it? Was you know, I'd be thinking like why you know, people want to pick on me or something. Yeah, and that may have been my own guilty conscience. You know, you know, even with us being 40 years old, we're still the children in the situation. I know. I mean, and even even for our father, you know, like I think he's been blamed for a lot of things that he didn't even know how to deal with. No, he didn't. You know what I'm saying? I know that when Papa passed, he took that extremely hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and that was like one of the first times, and I can't talk about Papa passing without crying. But you know, like that make me cry. Even like. <laughs> you know, when he told me, like, you know, you really helped me, you really took good care of me, like. And that was the only time my dad has ever been like, you know, thank like you feeling. for helping my father. Yeah. He's not a man of many words. No, and he's he doesn't not. say, you know, thank you, I love you, or any of that a lot, he right? Don't. Even though he feels it, you he know, does, he doesn't say he, it. But, it's funny, because he don't, like. But, you know, that one time, he did say, thank you for taking care of my and father. You probably, and you needed that. I know he has a heart somewhere, yeah. you know, I just don't. I don't, he doesn't know how to express, express his himself. feelings. I think we can both relate to our relationship with our father. He did the best he could. He was very much so a provider in my household. Emotionally wise, that may have been lacking. Honestly, with my dad, I'm not for sure. I don't know his feelings per se. My dad doesn't like express himself. I don't think he kind of knows how to express himself. Whether you were in the household or not, you know, we both kind of missed out on that sentiment. I'm ready for a new blossoming relationship. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I don't, I'm gonna be hard. I need you. I always feel like, well, you had your caramel family, you know, had everybody else, you know, like I never knew the extent of what you needed because you've never, I never expressed just, that. No, never I haven't expressed it. I haven't expressed it. I know it's, it's gonna take time, but I do want our relationship to flourish. And that's talking about this one-on-one. -on -one. I really, like, my heart yeah. is happy. That's good. My heart is at peace. Well, got to get this ladies' night together because y'all ain't going to let me live it down and Quita is not going to let me live a good menu down. I don't know if I should get something catered. Well, you could just have some hors d'oeuvres. No, no, we're not hors d'oeuvres. We, we don't have to do a whole full you know meal for like girls' night out. You know we like to eat. You know Quita like to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on Family Empire. Oh, She's so dramatic. I don't know how to put tomorrow, but right now I feel pretty good. Ray Wilson Group still ain't even talked about the contract. I need y'all to commit to something. If the team ain't doing what they need to do, then I need to focus on my own team.
everybody home? You always barging in my house like you own the place. I do. <laughs> hey, sis. Hey, sis. How are you? Girl, I'm good. Mm -hmm. What's Gosh. going on? I went up to the reception hall. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Granny was up there working. Was Granny she... had putting up tables and chairs. She, no, she had already put all the tables up when we got there. She was complaining of an injured shoulder, and when we got there, she was still putting our chairs. Because she hard-headed. She's hard-headed. But we did have a revelation. Okay. She did say she is open to keeping the property mm -hmm. in the family. Okay. But I said, we're going to take it one step at a time. What I want to talk about now mm -hmm. is we're going to talk okay. with some developers and bring the developers in. Okay. But when I speak with the developers, I want to give them some guidance. Misha is very good with her words, but Granny is not going to just give us the land. We have to include her children. So that will definitely be the challenge, trying to get them to see that bigger picture there. Can I tell you my, my vision for it? Yeah, absolutely. So, of course, I want this to be a gated entrance. So I want to do a driveway here, maybe 10 on each side, additional parking. And then if we have room, maybe a, even like a dog park here in the back. Oh, you're trying to gentrify homestead. Yes, baby. OK. I've been considering developing for a long time. Jaquita got involved because I told her to get involved. But otherwise, I'm trying to keep things tight, you know, so we can get a good game plan in place. So tell me this, what pushback do you think the G1s are gonna give us? I will tell you, I can name every issue we're gonna have. It's gonna yeah. be how the money gonna be divided. We make it a build to rent community. Mm -hmm. Who receives the dividends? How we gonna get the money? And just, well, we're since... not even ready for this. I, I, I don't even wanna talk about it right now. But let's just be honest. Granny is 86 years old. But what if she passes during this? Mm -hmm. The bill, you, you know, these projects, it's not mm -hmm. gonna happen overnight. Mm -hmm. What happens then? I don't want our family to be destroyed over right. month. I have not talked yet to Nicole okay. about the conversation with Granny okay. uh, and Mom. So I wanna go. Uh, so are we all getting together? What are we doing? You know, it's an upcoming ladies' night going on, oh. but I think that's going to be a good time. Getting all the other G2s, they Nikki and cousins up to speed. Yeah. And us just solidifying this project. We got to be ready. Did you notice I'm leaving for my trip? Hey, hey. You know, but we about business. That's what we do We about day. business. We got this. We got it, sis. <laughs> be here together. Get to packing. What up, baby? Ray wants to hook up and hang out while you ladies having ladies night. Okay. Yeah, so all this. Hmm, trying to pack for my trip. You like this dress? It's for all night white. I mean, all white nights. Hold on, baby, hold on. Hold on. You like that? You don't even wear this for our date nights. Hold on, it's kind of short, mama. Yeah, I'm on vacation. It's my travel buddy's birthday. I am so excited about this trip. It's too much going on in this Martin's household. Dude, smoking a little. Pressure's on. It's a big shoot today. Don't give any to Bambi. Remember, dogs can't have chocolate. Your girl needs a break. Guess who I booked today? Realtor who? Realtor, one of my very first clients. Oh, you. very first client. Melanie. Melanie, yeah. I love yeah. Melanie. So we're going to be shooting some. We shoot on some headshots. So okay. after speaking of it, Brain Real Estate Group still ain't even talked about the contract. It's, you know, moving forward. So yeah. I don't know what's up with that. I definitely feel like it's messed up that Nicole and Jamisha haven't reached out to me by now. If you guys want me to come to the office, okay. maybe we need to do a contract so we there's no. I, I, that's the one thing we all on the same page about, yeah. Say I'm a valuable asset to their, their business, but obviously I always get pushed to the back end. So I do want to put it in a place where, like, I need y'all to commit to something. You know, if I start getting my business ready to go, then that's when it's like, if the team ain't doing what they need to do, then I need to focus on my own team. You know what I'm saying? Right. When people don't appreciate your talent, you know, then it's like, well, what do you do? You take it somewhere where, where it is appreciated. You jealous that I'm going on this trip without you? I'm excited about you going on this trip. Yes, babe, you do a you lot. Jealous. You need you're to jealous. go. You're jealous. Come to you jealous. All right, let me finish packing. Get All his right, clothes. let me go make some more calls and invoices. Let me get on my, my roll before, you know, in case y'all try to fire me. My name Bennett, and I ain't in it. Coming up on Family Empire. So what's up with your, with your contract? With Nicole, I got an issue. We can't ever work it out. You can't go to any other job and, do and tell them what you're not going to do. 
and still get paid. Surviving the Braves. Surviving, Surviving the, the Braves. The Braves women. <laughs> One thing I have to work on is recognizing when the other person is exhausted. You know, I think that's a big part of it. You should say that again. The code thing, I'm a machine. I do think he's a machine. <laughs> you must have been tired. Yeah, you I was. You slept for a long time today. OK. Well, girls coming over. All the cousins and the sisters, so. Oh, see, I could have a house full. So this is the first time Keisha coming over since we had our talk. I thought it went pretty well. Well, I feel like the wall is, is gone down after our discussion, so I'm excited. Y'all should just relax and have, have some drinks of his own wine. Yeah, I agree. We can't give Quita too much alcohol. You know how she get when she get to drinking. She gonna tell everything. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't really hang out with Red and Chris much. What y'all gonna talk about? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some will arise, you know? Y'all gonna talk about us? Being married to the sister wives. Like how we talk about y'all. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Let me go uh, make this food for everybody to get here. Don't, don't mess up my lip gloss. All right, baby. Tonight is going to be a good night. I truly love moments with my sister cousins. And you know, you always hear about massage therapists. You never hear about stretch therapy. Knock, knock. Oh, you look cute. Mm -hmm. That must be them. Can you get the door, please? Yeah. OK, let me go change my clothes. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, hey, how you how going, ma'am? Y'all must be the stretch therapist. Yes, ma'am, I'm sure. So I heard stretching is good before sex. Is that, have y'all heard of that? It is, actually. It is. Okay, yes, I heard it's very important. Of the G2s, Monet is the last single female. Stretch on your own? I don't stretch as much as I should. So yeah, I'm interested in getting some new, you know, moves. You got you. You married? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. I am on a mission to find Monet a good man. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. hey. Would you like a glass of Prosecco? Yes, sure. I'll... She want a little glass, because that's I'll what we're here for. You know, Queen is the only one that's not allowed a glass. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Queen of track record and drinking has not been the best. We know, like, OK, we can't joke with them. They're the sensitive sisters. No, you take this and put this right here. <laughs> yeah, that, you overkill. <laughs> I'm about to pee. Hey. Hey. hey! How are you? What's How are you doing? Hey. hey! You look pretty. Hey, Quita. Hey, my baby. We see each other all day long, every day at work, right? It's always business, 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 business. Let's have some fun. Oh! Oh! Oh, my gosh. Okay. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to feel tomorrow, but right now it feels pretty good. Y'all know me. She got them three kids. Y'all know me. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, uh, oh, 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 you? That's good. You're missing all the dramatics. Monet is calm as if she's in a massage. Oh, Misha act like she in labor over here. Oh, hey, Keisha. She's so dramatic. She is so dramatic. Face down, turn over for me, please. Oh, she in labor. Oh. No! What the hell is going on? God dang. Shorty putting money like I was late there. I told her, I don't even know her. And I ain't with the talking in the club, I might tell it. My guy, tell him. Big homie. Oh, what up, what up, what up? Yeah. What's up, guy? What's going on with you? His boy. A lot of time, bro. Hey, man. Yeah, you working with a boss, bro. Man, man. What's up, man? I'm surprised you off, dog. Schedule's crazy, man. Y'all yeah, pretty sure you seen the code more than me. How work going, dog? Good work. Had a closing the other day. You gonna start your own team at the brokers or what? Uh, we've been talking about that. Me and Misha actually been talking about putting a team together. One thing I will say, these breaking women do make some power moves, you know what I'm saying? But that's how it is, though. Like, you look from Oscarine down, it's a woman-driven family. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. way, it's... That's 100%. Yeah. Oscarine ran the show, and it kind of trickled down. 
Come on, bitch. Oh, ladies, before okay. we get started, I need to do an update on the G1s uh, pertaining to the land. I did have a conversation with them. They feel like mom does not want to sell the two acres. So they're, they're asking to put things on pause for a minute. Um, but sell it to us or to the outside party? Sell it to you guys. I think it is fair to say that I'm a G1 and a half. I'm in the middle, I understand both sides, but you know, I just want to do what is best for the family. Well, that's what the G1's thing. That's yeah, not the conversation so we had with Granny. Me and my mom, we talked to Granny and I got the words out of Granny's mouth, so it's not what they think Granny wants. She gave me direct answers. What were those direct answers again? She said she is going to hold off on selling it to outside parties. Okay. And let us put together the plan to her. Each one of us has our own relationship with Granny. So, Jamisha going to talk to Granny on her own, I don't care. But CEO, that stands for Chief Executive Oscar Okay, so Granny's gonna do what Granny wants to do. They're not looking at it like, they're saying like, it's kind of like, that's mom's, the G1's, it's theirs, and then it's inherited to you all. Yeah, I hear what you're saying, but Granny is gonna listen to your mom and Charlotte and Cheryl when it comes to the final decision on the two acres. So you got some work to do. Granny is gonna listen to your mom and Charlotte and Cheryl when it comes to the final decision on the two acres. So you got some work to do. Y'all know y'all gotta come hard, correct, and solid. And we will. Okay. And we will. We all have children. And so we have another generation to create legacies for. Mm -hmm. And you know, we always talk about building generational wealth. Soon I have a brunch with the broker event. It's, you know, the agents with Braden and just kind of come together and kind of figure out. A lot of want to know, like, what's a broker? How can I be a broker? I would love for y'all to show up too. Would you be open to coming to some of that kind of stuff, Keisha? Mm -hmm. I need to come to the home buying seminar. Oh, yeah. Don't try having one Saturday. That'd be, mm -hmm. that'd be great too. If you guys are considering buying a home together, mm -hmm is marriage in the forecast that's because great. I'm just asking if that's not being too nosy. We your family, you know, hey, you know how we do? It will be the next step. So how near in the future? Um, not now, maybe later. I mean, it's in the works, it's all my vision. But keep y'all money separate. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so we, yes, once we get married, that'll be conversation. But right now, yes, we have it. Separate, but we have conversations about finances. Do any one of y'all share y'all bank accounts? Come on, stop. <laughs> so is that a no? Okay. <laughs> That's a hell no. <laughs> so do you feel like your husband isn't financially responsible or what what's the No comprende. Uh, <laughs> the braid women are great with finances. And we should keep it that way. Is it great to have a man? Absolutely, right? But never rely on a man. Your money is your money, and never let them know how much you got saved. <laughs> so what's up with your, with your contract? Everything's all blurred. With Nicole, I got an issue. Like, Nicole, we need to figure this out. If a client call, Nicole gonna handle... She'll drop everything. She gonna drop everything for a client, which is cool. But I'm also one of your business employees. Now when I have an issue, we can't ever work it out. That's crazy. That's why I gotta go to Misha. Misha easy going though. Misha just, ah, it's okay. More of a people person. You don't think Nicole a good people person? No. <laughs> Larry's a good, is a good time, man. I don't even think Larry know he's funny. If you don't set boundaries, it'll, it'll fly off. Nicole will call me four or five o'clock in the morning. But you don't answer the phone, Chris. Justin. I called you yesterday. Yesterday, I was hey. knocked out to the hey. world. A couple I, weeks ago, I say, Chris, I need a photo shoot. He say, let's do Saturday. But we never call, came up with a time. So I called Chris on Friday. No call back, no text back. <laughs> bro. He don't call or text me back. Bro, I deal with so many people, bro. Chris, we all deal with a bunch of people. No, 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 no. Let me, but let me finish, though. It, it, the way you fuss at Misha and Nicole about their so time. You, let me finish. If I say, bro, I just want this one day, I don't want to deal with nothing, bro. It's not even apples and oranges. It's not no, that no, no, serious, no. bro. So Equal answer a text it. message. Even though I do work a, a crazy schedule, I take my job anywhere than working that break. <laughs> okay, now I was just asking you to like what, what Chris has been doing since the photo shoot. Since the photo shoot? Mm -hmm. He's been working with other clients. Is Chris still with Brayton? Um, I guess what? so. <laughs> Where we are now that there needs to be a full-on contract in place with 
a list of his roles, responsibilities, and deliverables. You can't go to any other job and, do. and tell them what you're not gonna do and still get paid. Because he both said. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, I am not going back telling my husband any of this shady stuff because it'll be World War III. We are your family. We always gonna be your family. That may not always be your husband. And, and what I... No, but no, seriously, what I mean by that is you're, you're tied to us no matter what, what? right? I got you're, you. You're not tied to him no matter what, right? right. So make sure you do protect that. Yeah. You know? I do feel like sometimes they take jabs at Chris and... It does seem like an a insult at times, but if you think about it, it's really the truth. Family, we're family regardless. We may not speak to each other for a little while, but at the end of the day, we're still family. With a spouse, you can have a new spouse next year. So, I mean, they're, they're replaceable, family's not. You know, we are gonna stomp him any day when it come to you, so you know how we roll. <laughs> Surviving the braids. Just surviving, surviving the braids. The braids with me. <laughs> no. To the head with it. Sheets. Next on Family Empire. But we're trying to uh, convince Granny to possibly develop it on it. Right? Probably looking at somewhere around seven to ten million dollars. I'm nervous that everyone will not see the vision like I see it. I'm not. No, I, I know that. I know that. We ride hard for our family. Yeah. Like okay, ride so, hard. So that's something that's been honestly held over your head. I didn't know that there was a situation. Do they know the full story? Did you tell them what you did, though? I feel like her energy is bad. Is she coming tonight, y'all? Yeah, yeah, she's coming. What have y'all been, like, conversating about? Here they come, okay. guys. Here they come, guys. This felt like an ambush, and I'm not prepared for this. Stop. 